Hello students, we are going to focus today on a small molecule based analysis. In the previous lecture, we have learned that the identification of a small molecules which binds is specifically to the proteins or hot spot regions of the proteins can become crucial in discovery and development of new pharmaceutical drugs and for elucidating the complex pathway in biological system. The primary goal of a small molecule screening in pharmaceutical industry is to identify suitable candidates on the basis of their binding to the selected target molecules. The first stage of the process often involves screening large candidate libraries to identify the promising candidates against a protein target. Usually the positive controls are used to test the suitable binding activities if a control analysis available. The small molecules are often dissolved in organic solvents. Therefore, to maintain the analyte solubility, the concentration of organic solvent in samples and in the running buffer becomes very important. The response obtained from a small molecule analytes is inherently low because of their molecular weight. Therefore, the sensor surface for a small molecule screening are prepared with high level of ligand ranging from 8000 to 10,000 RU for an average size protein. Similar to the previous lecture where we have performed the immobilization of proteins, in this lecture we will simultaneously immobilize two proteins carbonic anhydrase and human serum albumin on two different flow channel of a CM5 sensor surface. This chip will be used to demonstrate a small molecule screening where eight drug molecules will be tested. We will now proceed with the immobilization and screening analysis of these small molecules on these two selected target proteins. So, let us have this lab experimental session now. In this session, we will understand the interaction of proteins with small molecules. So to start with small molecule interaction, we have to start again with the immobilization. We go into binding or screening and we go into kinetic mode to determine the affinity of small molecules. Here we have opened a new immobilization wizard for the immobilization of human serum albumin and carbonic anhydrase on two different flow channels separated with two reference channels. So the chip selected is CM5, flow channels per cycle is 1. On the flow channel 1, we leave it blank and flow channel 3 also we leave it blank. Flow channel 2, human serum albumin is immobilized with a specified contact time and flow rate of 420 seconds and flow rate of 10 microliter per minute. On flow channel 4, by amine coupling, we will immobilize carbonic anhydrase again with a specified contact time and flow rate mode for 720 seconds and 10 flow rate. We now go into the next tab. We will highlight the prime before run and normalize detector and temperature will be at 25 degree centigrade 
and we go to the next tab and we have the rack positions with the required amount of reagents shown here. As per the volumes listed on the table, we will now prepare buffers and reagents required for immobilization of these two proteins on the sensor chip. The proteins are prepared at working concentration of 25 microgram per ml for human serum albumin and 100 microgram per ml of carbonic anhydrase using an immobilization buffer of pH 5. We will be using 1.05x PBS buffer as the running buffer which will be connected to the system followed by priming. EDC and NHS as prepared and suggested in the amine coupling kit for surface activation will be used in 1 is to 1 ratio. 1 molar ethanol amine HCl pH 8.5 is prepared for blocking the free ester groups on the surface. Lastly, we would require BR normalization solution to normalize the resonance signal in all flow channels to compensate for small differences between individual sensor chips. After preparation of these samples and reagents, we transfer the sample tubes to the appropriate rack and start the run as shown for beta 2 microglobulin immobilization in earlier lectures. We will hence move forward to discuss the immobilization results obtained from this run. From our experimentation, the following are the results for the immobilization of human serum albumin and carbonic anhydrase on two different flow channels. We see here from the immobilization results, here you can see on the screen immobilization of human serum albumin by activation of the surface with EDC NHS, passage of the ligand to the sufficient amount required, blocking with ethanol amine and immobilization. On the cycle 2, similarly you have activation with EDC NHS mixture passage of ligand and blocking of the surface with ethanol amine to reach an immobilization level of 11,466. With this, we are done for the immobilization of HSA which is human serum albumin and CA carbonic anhydrase on the surface of the chip and the chip is ready to go for the binding experiment. These small molecules to be screened for binding will include digitoxin, warfarin, naproxen, phenytoin, sulfonylamide, carboxybenzene sulfonamide, furosemide and azosulfamide. Some of these molecules are specific to HSA whereas rest are specific to CA, furosemide being specific to both. Warfarin will be used as a positive control for human serum albumin and furosemide for carbonic anhydrase. 
we will also use 5% DMSO in running buffer as negative control. Since small molecules are often soluble in organic solvents such as DMSO and so are these drug molecules, it can result in large bulk responses since reference flow cell has room for more DMSO than active flow cell with ligand. That is why we need to prepare a solvent correction curve by preparing solvent correction solutions with varying DMSO concentrations which will range from 4.5% to 5.8% DMSO. We inject these solutions over the active and reference surface and then create a solvent correction curve which will result in corrected binding responses. We will now move forward to set up the binding assay wizard to screen small molecules for binding to human serum albumin and carbonic anhydrase. Here we will set up our experiment to check the interaction of some small molecules binding to carbonic anhydrase and human serum albumin. So for that we need to prepare a method and the method actually has the startups 5, 1 round of sample injection, solvent correction which are 8 different correction solutions are passed on the surface and the DMSO effect on the responses is subtracted. Control samples like positive and negative controls were also included in this mode. In the low molecular weight screen mode, we have the contact time of 60 seconds dissociation time of 300 seconds flow rate of 30 microliter per minute and the molecules were flown on 1, 2, 3 and 4 channels with an extra wash with 50% DMSO to prevent carryover effects stabilization time was 30 seconds we verify this method and set up a run in which it will have a subtraction of active surface 2 was subtracted from the one reference surface active surface 4 was subtracted to 3 and we have the following set of experiments set up here we have 5 startups, 1 set of solvent correction of 8 runs injected here, 3 sets of control samples which include negative and positive control, samples like digitoxin, warfarin, naproxen, phenyltoin and a negative control were injected again and successively sample correction at every 30 cycles, 10 cycles or 20 cycles depending upon how you set up the experiment and finally <clears throat> another round of control samples injected. So once we are done with that we highlight prime before run and this is how we prepare the template for the experiments with solvent corrections provided, buffer for the startup provided, various samples pipetted out in DMSO and warfarin furosemide as positive and negative controls and 50% DMSO per wash in between each cycle. We will say next and 
the whole binding experiment including solvent correction takes 4 hours and 23 minutes and requires at least 200 ml of phosphate buffer saline with 5% dmso included in the running buffer preparation of the running buffer preparation of the samples checking for the solubility checking for the aggregation is very important when we set up our small molecule interactions immobilization level should be high machine should be cleaned at least or dissolved one day prior instrument should be in a equilibrated with the running buffer for at least 6 hours before start of the experiment as per the volumes listed in the table we will prepare the following samples and reagents running buffer will be 5% dmso in 1.05x pbs positive controls and samples at 30 micromolar concentration in running buffer and running buffer will be used as negative control a wash solution is prepared with 50% dmso in water and lastly eight freshly prepared dmso solutions ranging from 4.5% dmso to 5.8% dmso are prepared for solvent correction we will now work on the reagents required for the screening assay for binding of proteins human serum albumin and carbonic anhydrase against several small drug molecules in this protein small molecule study We will be using 5% dmso in 1.05 x pbs as the running buffer which will also be used for the initial startup cycle. Eight different solvent correct solutions will be prepared ranging from 4.5% dmso in pbs to 5.8% dmso in pbs and these solutions will be prepared by mixing these solutions in different ratios as shown here thus we will number these cubes as 1 to 8 and add 200 400 600 700 800 1200 and 1400 microliter of 4.5% dmso in cube 2 to 8 respectively following this we will add 1400 1200 1800 600 400 and 200 microliter of 5.8% dmso in cubes 1 to 7 respectively we will mix these solutions vigorously and put the lids on and keep them in dark until we are ready with other samples we will be preparing all small molecule samples including digitoxin what parent naproxen phenytoin sulfonylamide carboxybenzene sulfonamide furosemide and azon sulfamide from 1.05x pbs and 10 millimolar stock solutions of these drug molecules using dmso solution according to the tables shown here so final concentration of 30 micromolar of small molecules will be used 
for this cleaning acid. For washing, we have also prepared 50% DMSO in water using 600 microliter of DMSO and 600 microliter of water in a 16 mm vial. Running buffer will also be used as negative control in this experiment. All of these samples and reagents have now been allocated in the required volume in these specialized tubes. We will now proceed to insert these tubes including the samples at 30 micromolar concentration, the negative control, the startup, 50% DMSO as wash solution and the solvent correction solution into the appropriate rack and then into the system to perform the protein small molecule screening assay. We have now placed all our tubes inside the rack including the wash solution, the samples, the solvent correction solutions, the startup solution and the negative control. We are placing this rack inside the system to start with our screening assay. We will now start with our run as demonstrated in the earlier lectures. Small molecule binding, once the wizard is set up and the experiment is done for at least 4 to 6 hours, we will open the data file to see for the data. So this is how the data looks like with all the control samples, sample, solvent correction and startups are overlaid on each other. Here we can see we have the reference surface, active surface as our human serum albumin. Again we have a reference subtracted surface 2 minus 1 and we have the reference surface. 3, again an active surface for the carbonic anhydrase and the reference subtracted 4 minus 3 surfaces. When we go here on the overlay, we see startup cycles, solvent correction, negative and positive control samples and various samples that were injected on the surface of the two active ligands. Here, first we have to go on add solvent correction, check the solvent correction data and if the data is good enough, we can say ok and the data is subtracted for the solvent effect of DMSO and we can see now in the all sensograms it shows 2 minus 1 corrected and simultaneously 4 minus 1 corrected with the solvent correction data that we have generated. Here another point is that we could evaluate the data in a bar chart mode. We have various startups, solvent correction, control samples and various components injected here and their interaction with the surfaces. Also, similarly at 2 minus 1 corrected position, we can see similar kind of a data. With this we can conclude some molecules have no binding whereas some molecules have some amount of binding from the data and this indicates that the two different surfaces behave differently while interacting with the small molecules. 
this will end the session on solvent correction and binding of small molecules to two ligands immobilized on the surface different drug molecules bound to human serum albumin with different binding responses based on their respective affinities in this case digitoxin shows the highest affinity towards hsa followed by warfarin furosemide naproxen azosulfamide phenytoin and others the binding response for these molecules observed for human serum albumin correlated well with their expected affinities similarly different drug molecules also bound to carbonic anhydrase with different binding responses based on their respective affinities in this case azosulfamide shows the highest affinity towards carbonic anhydrase followed by furosemide cbsa sulfanilamide and others the binding response for these molecules observed for carbonic anhydrase also correlated well with their expected affinities In today's lecture, you must have observed that different small molecules have different binding response and affinities for the two bound protein that is serum albumin and carbonic anhydrase. We will continue this experiment on protein small molecule interactions for kinetic analysis in the next lecture. Thank you.